Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, Also, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. Oh, okay, okay. We got two. Ooh. Ew. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Along with it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. See, look, everything's falling into place. We have you deserve love. You're lovable along with separation and pay attention to the red flags. I feel like you're distancing yourself from someone. If it's vice versa, then it's vice versa, right? But it does look like there's a separation happening here. And you could be telling someone that you just simply don't want to do this anymore. But as you're, you're distancing yourself from someone here and separating yourself from someone, something new comes along. So I feel like things are falling into place here. I do like that do like that. You're making room for the things that you want, Cancer. So I like it. All right. Ooh. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, how does Cancer finally view this relationship? I like it. I like it. You got the Two of Cups, Cancer energy, with the Moon here, so Cancer, also Pisces, with the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, and look at that, we got the Ace of Cups for the overall energy too, so a lot of water here, I mean, you are a water sign. Yeah, in reference to how you're looking at this situation here, I just kind of see you making room for the things that you want here. All right. And I feel like you're making room for a new beginning and love here. Somebody that does emotionally fulfill you, something that's balanced, something that's equal here. Like the feelings are mutual between you and this person. I do want to look into the moon here because I kind of see this as you being very curious about starting a new beginning with someone and you feel pretty good about it. Like on an intuitive level, you do feel really good about this new beginning with this person over here. But I let's just look into the moon. Tell me more about the moon. Okay. Tell me more about the moon for cancer. All right. You got the tower here with the ten of pentacles here. Like I said, things are just falling into place. Um, and I don't necessarily feel like you're going to see this coming, to be quite honest. But things are falling into place. Things are, things are falling into place, which... It does kind of look like, to be quite honest, it's kind of a good thing here, right? Where something is falling apart, which we did discuss that earlier, right? Something is falling apart, but it's making room for the things that you actually want, Cancer. And you may not understand why things are falling apart between you and this person that you were once upon a time dealing with. But like I said, it's just making room for the things that you actually want here. And it's making room for a long-term committed relationship here, or it could reach that point um between you and this person so i do like that i like it a lot all right let's jump to this person over here how does this person currently view this relationship somebody's coming in we have the knight of cups here pisces with the four of wands aries and then we got the nine of pentacles virgo somebody's offering you some sort of commitment here and whoever this is, I mean, I already like them. They're showing up as a Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's financially stable. This is somebody who's actually single, 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 single. Like, there's no one lurking around. They're actually single, single. Um, and I feel like the both of you are looking for the same things here. So, again, everything's falling into place here. As far as this other person is concerned, I kind of feel like it's done and over with between you and whoever it is that you had some sort of tower moment with. That That's done and over with. I kind of feel like this is a whole new chapter here. But again, the person that's heading in your direction, they're single, single. And they are looking for some sort of commitment. Um, or they're in search for some sort of commitment here. And again, you're very curious about this person. I still kind of see you a little bit hung up on why things didn't work out between you and this person. Um, that you had this ending with, but this is why. This is why it didn't work out. For something better to come along. You gotta make room for the things you want. And get rid of the things that are not giving you the things that you actually need, right? So how does Cancer feel about this relationship? All 
All right, very nice. We got the Ten of Swords here, Gemini energy with Strength, Leo, and then we got the Chariot, which is Cancer. Again, I kind of see you, like I said, a little bit, why did that happen to me? You know, why is this happening? Why aren't things working out between me and this person? Like I said, this is why. Um, in reference to how you feel here, I don't feel like this has anything to do with this person that's heading in your direction here. But again, I think that you're finding the strength and the courage to just simply move past um, this person here that you had some sort of ending with and you're just accepting things for what it is here. Granted, this ending between you and this person could have been very painful. Maybe you weren't expecting this out of this person here, but you're finding the strength and the courage to move on with your life here. And you're giving love a chance. I do feel like you're giving love a chance and you're giving this person that's heading in your direction a chance. All right. How does this person feel about this relationship with cancer? Okay. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini with the Star card here, Aquarian Energy. And then we have the Four of Swords here. Yeah, this person's single, single. I don't feel like and like I don't feel like this person is surrounding themselves with anyone else here. So I do like that. Um, with the magician and the star card here and the four of swords here, this person is looking to create. They're looking to manifest here. And I do feel like this person as well is in some sort of healing state. And I do want to look into that because I do feel like this person is absolutely single. They could have recently got out of some sort of relationship, but let, let's just look into it. Just let's just double check. Tell me more about the uh, Four of Swords. Okay, we got Virgo energy with the Hermit being here with the Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Aqua, Taurus, also Scorpio. I feel like this person has been single for quite some time, to be quite honest. Yeah, I feel like this person has been single for quite some time here. They haven't really been surrounding themselves with other people or engaging with other people. But I feel like this person is coming out of hermit mode, to be quite honest here. And I feel like this person's ready to pursue a new beginning. But there's still this overwhelming feeling of they just recently, I, don't, I wouldn't say recently, but I feel like this person has um, experienced some sort of breakup here or separation. But I feel like they're over it and I feel like they're moving past that. And they're ready for a change in their life. And I do see this person coming out of hermit mode here. I'm not sure why that would be showing up. Like, why is that significant? I don't know why. Hmm. This person really is vague, too. Who else got a reading like this? Someone else. It was another zodiac sign. I want to say... I want to say it was Libra. No. Sagittarius. You could be crossing paths with a Sag here. But this person's very vague. So I'm more about the Hermit. Yeah, this is a very vague spread, Cancer. So either this person's already in your life or they will be at a later date here. But it's very vague as to, you know, the history between you and this person. So that's why I don't necessarily feel like the two of you know each other, to be quite honest here. But again, I see this person coming out of hermit mode here. And they are ready to pursue love here, especially with the... Um, Queen of Cups here and the Queen of Swords, regardless of their gender. This is somebody who knows what they want here. And this is somebody who's very much so open to the idea of pursuing a relationship here. That's something that this person's, you know, looking for right now is a relationship. I do love the fact that this person's very balanced here. I do love that they're balanced here because they're showing up as a Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups here. This is somebody who knows what they want. And is open to love here. And I do feel like this person is finding interest in you. Yeah, this person is looking to pursue um, higher levels of commitment here. This person is looking to settle down, to say the least here. I just kind of want to look into this person, but they're so freaking vague to me. Tell me more about the uh, Nine of Pentacles. All right.
Uh huh. Okay. Uh, cancer. Something to like. Uh, I don't. Uh, all right. Whatever. With this person in particular, um, I feel like it's this feminine energy, regardless of their gender, of course. But this is somebody here that um, I do feel like this has everything to do with their past here. This person could have very well been cheated on, or they were the ones to kind of do the cheating here. Um, just to be quite honest here, I feel like this feminine energy. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like this feminine energy cheated on somebody because they were not emotionally satisfied uh within whatever connection they were in because that's always like why does it keep showing up why does it matter that they recently got out of something but i feel like this feminine energy did cheat on someone it is showing up that way because they were not emotionally uh satisfied within that connection okay but I know I don't feel like this person's in that relationship. For some of you, this person flat out cheated on someone here because they weren't emotionally satisfied or they could have gotten cheated on, possibly. It could always resonate that way, but it's kind of sticking out to me like a sore tongue that this person did cheat on somebody because they weren't emotionally satisfied and it just, it resulted into obviously some sort of ending here um, between these these people. And I do feel like this person's absolutely single. So again, I guess something to be mindful of the, in reference to the person that's actually heading in your direction, not saying that they're a bad person or anything like that. Um, but it does look like this person was up to no good here at some point. What actions will Cancer take towards this person or moving forward? Wait, why are you doing this? We'll get back to you in a minute. What actions will this person take towards a cancer moving forward? Why are you moving? Ugh, I'm a Virgo and this just upset my whole entire day. <laughs> By these cards not, okay. Stay. Don't move. <sighs> yeah, okay. I feel like that's the problem here. That's the problem with this person, right? Because it's like... Mm, the moment that this person is not emotionally satisfied within a connection, they they have the tendency of gravitating, gravitating, I'm sorry, towards other people, okay? That's this person's biggest problem here, is that the moment that things are not happy-go-lucky, they kind of search for commitment in other arms, essentially. Um, and I feel like this person's being honest, and that's what's kind of, I think that that's why it showed up, because I feel like this person's being honest with you, right in reference to why things didn't work out on the connection and why they did what they did right and i feel like well what they did was you know search for commitment in other arms essentially they started to gravitate towards other people because they weren't emotionally satisfied within that connection here and i feel like it's rubbing you the wrong way they're being honest they don't have to disclose that to you that's something to kind of take into consideration they don't have to disclose that information to you but they're doing it right and they're telling you why they're single, essentially, because I feel like you're asking the question and they're telling you why they're single. Because I feel like this person has been single for quite some time and they're just like, oh, well, because I wasn't emotionally satisfied within that connection. And this person may even confess to you that they did cheat on their significant other or possibly they got cheated on. But I'm leaning more towards this person did cheat on their significant other because they weren't emotionally satisfied within that connection here. And it's rubbing you the wrong way, Cancer. It's rubbing you the wrong way because, again, it's like now you're under the impression, right, that, like, now you're thinking, well, what if they do that to me? You know what I'm saying? Which, you got a point. But it's like you want higher levels of commitment. You do, whether it's with this person or just in general, you want it. But you're not sure if this person is going to be a good fit here because, again, they're being open and honest with you. 
I mean, yeah, tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like this person's pretty much kind of telling you, like, you know. I did it because, you know, me and, ex, you know, whoever this is wasn't working out. Like, I feel like they're defending their position, right? They, they're defending their position as to why they did what they did, okay? Again, I don't feel like the two of you have any sort of history with each other. Um, but again, this is them kind of saying, like, I'm not like that anymore. You know, I really do want to settle down, which I do feel like that's what they're telling you. <laughs> they're telling you that they want to settle down. Okay. But you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not buying it. You're not buying it. Because you're just like, well, if they'll, if, they, if they'll do it to them, they'll do it to me. That's your mentality and how you're processing all of this. They are defending their position here. They are. They are. But again, they're not like that anymore. Okay, let's live. They're not like that anymore. And again, their overall energy is they do want to settle down. So I don't know. I don't know what you plan on doing here. I feel like you're going to go into hermit mode to really think things through here. Kind of figure out whether or not you want to even take a chance in this person's direction, to be quite honest. Huh. Tell me more about the Five of Swords for um, Cancer. Yeah, things were going really good. Things are going to go really good in the very beginning here, right? This is you getting to know this person. Things are that, spending time with this person. Again, you're very curious about them, right? And again, I do feel like you want to kind of pursue a relationship with this person. But I, again, I kind of feel like this communication here about their past is kind of rubbing you the wrong way and is causing you to, to question whether or not you can have a relationship with them or not. You see where I'm going with this? So it's going to be great at first, but then boom, they hit you with the, well, I'm single because yada, yada, yada. And you're just like, whoa, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the decision is entirely up to you. Any advice for cancer in regards to this spread? <laughs> like you you go from like going with the flow here with let go of control issues feeling really attracted to this person to like wait a second what did you just say you you don't know if you can move past this that's your problem you don't know if you can move past this for the sake of this relationship and how this person makes you feel you get what i'm saying I mean, Cancer, in all honesty, I feel like this person does want to settle down this feminine energy over here. I do feel like they want to settle down. I do feel like they want to have a family, you know? And again, I kind of feel like this person, it's, it's a learning experience for this person. I feel like they learned their lesson, to say the least. I do. I do feel like this person learned their lesson. Nobody in life is perfect, right? We're all going to make mistakes. Um, but I, at, but the thing is, is that something to just take into consideration, they're being open and honest. They're disclosing information that really has nothing to do with you. They could have flat out lied to you and they're choosing to just be upfront and honest with you as to why they did what they did and what happened and why, you know, everything transpired. They are defending their position here. Um, they try to make things work out with this person here, but it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Um, and, and, and things happen. Things happen, right? But they're over that. They've moved past that. And they're claiming to not be that way. According to them. I don't know them, so I don't know. But they didn't have to tell you. But they did. You see what I'm saying? So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with. And in this case, possibly will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.